If you're involved in the professional audio and video scene, odds are that you encountered some type of video setup where SDI was used. It's very common and is all around us. But you might not have heard of SDI or even know what it is to begin with. Today, we'll answer some common questions about SDI. What it is, how it works, and what it's for. What even is SDI in the first place? Serial Digital Interface, or SDI, was standardized by the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers and refers to the interface that's used for the transmission of uncompressed and unencrypted digital video signal, which also offers an option for audio. SDI uses embedded synchronization packets to help synchronize and reclock video frames for transmitting and receiving. The interface can be single link, dual link, or multi-link, depending on what the required data rate is, as well as the application you're trying to use it for. SDI covers video signals starting at 270 megabits per second, otherwise known as standard definition. It can also cover all the way up to the high definition rates needed for 4K, which is 12 gigabits per second. SDI transmits data using coaxial cables to cover long distances. Depending on the bit rate and the cabling, it can transmit data over distances between 100 meters to 300 meters, which is important because this distance range is the standard that's widely used for connections between professional video equipment. Additionally, the coaxial cables include BNC connectors that allow the cables to lock in place, thus providing a tight and dependable connection. Now remember, there's two sides. There's transmitting and receiving. On the transmitting side, we need an SDI serializer to convert the signal coming from the main processor into the standard SDI format. That formatted signal is now transferred across extended ranges by a cable driver through the coaxial cable's BNC connector. On the receiving side, there is a cable equalizer that equalizes and restores the signal that comes through the cable. This is required due to signal attenuation and cable loss that happens through physical mediums. Additionally, an SDI deserializer deserializes. It converts the signal back into its original format. It also allows the video signal to interface with an FPGA or an ASSP. Another common question is, what are common applications for SDI? What's this used for? SDI is primarily used for transmitting and receiving video and audio signals over long distances with the use of copper cabling, mainly for professional audio and video applications, otherwise known as Pro-AV. Some examples of Pro-AV apps are cameras, especially those involving security, medical, or industrial uses, camcorders used for broadcasting, video switch and distribution servers, basically anywhere that has multiple video sources or displays like sports bars and hotel rooms, presentation switchers, medical visualizations such as endoscopes or monitors, and digital signage. That's it for today. You should now have a basic understanding of what SDI is, how it works, and what it's for. Remember, at Symmetry Electronics, we're here to help you with all your SDI and Pro-AV needs. Our applications engineers offer free design and technical support for your designs. Contact us today to learn more.